Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm T of Crumpus Tea and Sewing here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my sewing makes that I made for the hashtag sewn with new look challenge that was hosted by Minerva throughout the month of January. So I decided to choose two different patterns for this challenge. I chose the new look 6351 and the new look N6697. So the 6351 is a pattern that is, it's relatively old, it's been around for a while. However, I think they still are producing the copy of that pattern. So you might be able to get that at your local Joanne and Hobby Lobby stores. So I decided to go with the, the jacket pattern for this project. However, I have sewn the pants and the top, I believe before out of this pattern is a relatively simple and easy pattern. And it's definitely for your beginners and your advanced beginners. Now the jacket I would say is for your advanced beginners. However, all the other pattern pieces and inside the pattern included into the pattern is very, very simple and easy, especially the top and the skirt. So uh, with the jacket pattern, I went with uh, two different fabrics. So I chose a black cotton sateen as well as a floral cotton sateen. So the floral cotton sateen is from Fabric, Fabric Mart Fabrics and I purchased that uh, sometime last year. And it's a really beautiful fabric. So it's a white background and on the foreground of the of the uh, fabric, you have uh, these abstract floral fabrics that's going throughout the throughout the fabric. So I don't think that there, there is like a particular design, like a, a pattern to it, but I think it's more kind of like abstract. So uh, at least I was trying to find the pattern going throughout it and I just couldn't. And I think it's also two directional as well. And it's, it's a really fun piece. Uh, I had to take special care of it because it did bleed a little bit in the wash. So I had to uh, go ahead and rewash it and use like the, the, uh, the color catchers and things like that. So, but it is a gorgeous piece. I really like it. And the pattern for the, the jacket, the 6351 sewed up really easily. So you have uh, two sections for the front. So you have your front section and then you have your side uh, front sections and then you have one piece for the back and the back is cut out twice and then you also have your sleeve pattern and then you also have your facing pattern which is going to flip out and it's going to uh, be kind of like your your front collar so it doesn't have a collar that goes all around the neck but you do have like this lapel and your facing will be showing on the outside of your garment because it flips open and so you have to be careful with uh, that piece. And if you decide to choose uh, like the same fabric, that would be great because it will blend with the rest of your, your fabric. But if you go with a contrast uh, fabric, you wanna make sure that you're very conscious about uh, the choice that you are making with that, that pattern. So I decided to go with the black cotton sateen. So that's the second fabric that I chose. And it's a fabric that I had on hand, which was uh, something that I had in my stash. It was a remnant. And I, I can't remember what I used it for, but it uh, is a really nice fabric. It came from Joanne Fabrics. And I don't think that they have this anymore. At least I was looking for it at my location and I couldn't find it but it's a really nice, simple fabric. I would tell you though, with cotton sateen, with the floral cotton sateen, and especially with this black cotton sateen from Joanne Fabrics, it attracts a lot of lint and threads and things. And so I find myself constantly with a lint roller, especially like when I'm out and taking pictures or whatever, I'm constantly <laughs> getting those, those little lints and, and things off of the, off of the makes. And so that's the only, downside with the fabric however everything else uh with these two pieces sewed up really well i really enjoyed the process of making the jacket i had to make some adjustments with the jacket i ended up taking my jacket in on the side seam and about uh one inch on each side which actually ended up being four inches because you know you have the front and the back so that would be two inches for each side and I took that in so that I could get a more um, couture look or a more 
uh, tailored look instead of it being looser. I also had to do a one inch bicep adjustment on the pattern as well. Now on my jacket, the seams of the jacket on the shoulder seams seem to come forward quite a bit. Now that could be for two reasons. That could be for one, the jacket has a slight forward uh, shoulder on the jacket. And I think that is the case. Uh, but mine's come forward a little bit more than what I think the pattern is um, illustrating on the cover of the pattern. And that could be because my shoulders are quite forward and they also have like the sloping effect as well, especially on this side of my shoulder. And so I have found that that does come forward quite a bit, but I did not mind. I did not make an alteration for that. I did make a mock-up for this jacket before using my fabric and I have found that to be the case when I was doing the mock-up. It was very pronounced and I saw that and I thought, hey, I'm going to leave it as a detail and as a feature, but I wanted to include into the pattern review that if you're someone who don't like forward shoulder patterns or forward, yeah, garments that have that forward shoulder look, then you might want to do that alteration. Um, like I said, mine's is a little bit more pronounced because of the type of shoulders that I have, but I think that uh, for other people, it wouldn't be that pronounced. I also did top stitching on my garment as well. So after I completed all of the, the shell of the garment and after I actually sewed the seams and I finished the seams, I uh, went ahead and I laid my seams flat and I top stitched the outer uh, jacket so that all the seams were laying flat and I top stitched and I like the top stitching detail. And so I did that with everything, all the seams that you see on the outside, I top stitched them and I'll try to put an image here so you can see what that looks like. So overall, I really did like the jacket pattern. Um, like I said, I used a cotton sateen and it has some scratch in it. And so I had to do some adjustments on the side. Like I said, I took the side in a little bit and I don't know if the jacket was loose like that because of the nature of the cotton sateen or because uh, that's just the nature of the jacket. But I, like I said, I took it in just a little bit. I would like to see what this looks like in a brocade or jacquard type material. So I think I'm going to play with this pattern some more throughout the year and uh, get some, some more looks. The other adjustment that I made, I wanted to go ahead and say this real quick before I move on to my next review. I made an adjustment to the length of the sleeve. So I've seen in several pattern reviews, especially on patternreview.com, a lot of people were talking about like the, the length of the pattern. Um, one person actually made just a short version of the pattern. They shortened it and they made a short sleeve um, out of the pattern, out of the jacket pattern. And then one person said that they lengthened it because um, they found that the sleeve was on the short end. So for me, I actually, I didn't really care much for the three quarter length sleeve, which I think that's the, the size of the pattern. I decided to go ahead and lengthen my pattern and I lengthened it by four, I think even five inches. I think I'm gonna go back and actually le lengthen it by another inch, uh, just simply because there is some twisting on my sleeve and I think that has to do with the fact that I need more length. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the pattern as well. So all in all, really love the jacket pattern and I would definitely recommend it to advanced beginners. I did not run into any problems uh, with the pattern. I will say that I felt like the hem of the jacket was um, has a really, really generous hem. I think the hem is like somewhere almost like two inches for the hem. And so I thought that that was kind of odd and it's a really large hem. But other than that, uh, the jacket is the jacket pattern is really nice. It sewed up really well. I like the fabric. I like the, the contrast of the collar that I made or the lapel. It's just a really simple and easy make and I really enjoyed it. So moving on to the new look N 6697. So this pattern comes with two different patterns within one envelope. So you have your shirt and it's a button, a button down or button up shirt. 
and it has a drop sleeve and you have this nice little collar but there's no collar band so it's really simple and easy to make i haven't made that yet and that's the reason why i purchased the pattern but i haven't made it yet and when i do make it i'll make sure that i do a pattern review of it so you all know what it's like so for the skirt pattern that's the second pattern that you get within this envelope that's the version that I created and I made this to go with that new look 6351 jacket. So I made three variations. As of this video, I made three variations of it. I made two solid, two out of a solid uh, fabric and then one out of a floral print. So the print for the floral is the same print that I use for the jacket. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful pattern so i use this cotton sateen now the the pattern does not call for cotton sateen fabrics it calls for stable uh fabrics that are non-scratch fabrics however i used this cotton sateen and it has some scratching as you can imagine i had to size down a little bit uh, however it was uh, beneficial for me with the waist because the pattern comes in sizes i believe it's 8 to 18 and so there's no size after that 18 it's just the one envelope and so that size i would say it's around about a 31 to a 30 maybe a 32 for your waist and so i was really pushing it and so with the cotton sateen uh, scratch fabric, it actually allowed for me to be able to make this pattern without having to make any adjustments for the waistband. So I was really happy about that. However, I had to size down in the hips. I would say that the hips is around a 14. So I had to drop down quite a bit in the hips because I was working with that scratch fabric. So, and I wanted to have a more semi-fitted uh, dress or skirt I should say and so that's why I actually sized it down as well now this is a skirt pattern that is kind of loose it's kind of awkward the original pattern I did make the original pattern before using the cotton sateen and it's it has uh, quite a bit of extra fabric in the front uh, and I didn't really like that uh, I did make some adjustments to my skirt. I actually shortened my skirt by about six inches as well. I didn't want a really long skirt. So this skirt, it's not ankle length and it's not midi length. It's like a really awkward length. I've never seen a length like this before. However, I shortened mine, like I said, so it's knee length. And uh, let's see, what else did I do? And so all three versions that I made were with a cotton sateen. So I kept that pattern and I didn't have to make any adjustments, only the adjustments or modifications that I wanted to make. So with the print version, like I said, I the only thing that I did was shorten the pattern and I came in to a size 14 for the hips. So I graded down to that size 14 from the, the 18 waist. And uh, that's pretty much all that I did. Now for the, for the black version, I decided that I wanted to actually shorten the, um, I wanted to have it a little bit shorter, like in the stomach area because I was getting a lot of extra fabric. And so I shortened that area a little bit as well. So I think I also did that for the print version as well, but with the eggplant skirt, I did not shorten it. And so it's a little bit longer in that midsection area. And so I decided, I say midsection, but it's like right, right in the, the mid section of the, the tummy area. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and shorten that. And so for my black version, I have a shorter, it's shorter in that area. And it's also shorter in that area for the print version as well. Now, I want to go back and I want to do a tummy adjustment. I think that that would make a world of difference for this skirt pattern for someone of my 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 frame so I don't have much so I do have a stomach but it's not um as much of a stomach as um the 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 amount of fabric that is there um I don't need that amount of fabric for the stomach that I have and so I really need to um pinch out a lot of that fabric there so that I don't have that excess fabric. But other than that, I really did enjoy the pattern. Uh, the pattern has a zipper that is on the back. And so that's how you're going to get in and out 
of your garment so it has that zipper closure and like I said it does have that waistband as well and so overall it was a really fun and easy pattern the hem of the bottom of the of the skirt is a one and a quarter inch hem so it's it's a pretty wide hem uh, wider than what I'm used to anyway. I usually do three eight seven inch or five eight seven inch like really narrow hems So it does have a really nice hem on it and I really like the way that all of it comes together I feel like I could get so many different looks with just these three skirts in this jacket and it's really nice and that's why I, I decided to go with these different fabrics because I can actually mix and match with all of these different skirts with this one jacket. I hope you enjoyed uh, the pattern reviews today of these two new look patterns and if you have any comments or anything that you want to add please make sure that you leave your thoughts with me in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear your thoughts.